Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page, or you're on my YouTube channel. I made a card last week. It was called a Tricorn card. I posted it uh, January 1st on my StampinCarol.com website. And uh, I thought this was just so cool that I decided I was going to do a video on it. Now, I did find some on, you, on Pinterest, but my customers, not all of them go there. <laughs> so I am doing this today, and I challenge my watchers to try this. This is cool. The hardest part is at the end. <laughs> so I'll flip the phone over, and we'll get started. Hang on. Okay, so I am using, get everything organized here. I'm making this card into a Valentine's card. I did find my one Valentine stamp set. I have lots of dies, but I have very few sets that are current. I think this is current. I don't know. Maybe not. And I'm using uh, Uplift die set. So these are the two Valentine Pals with their coordinating dies. So I will have all links to everything that you can purchase on my website tomorrow. So I started with a piece of white cardstock. This is eight inches by six inches. So yes, it's taller than normal. And I scored at four inches. Then I flipped it over, scored at two inches, flipped it around, scored at two inches, and you want it to look like that. So you have two mountain folds, one valley fold. That is important. So I will set this one aside and show you what I did next. Okay. I came down two inches, marked it, and scored going out. Two inches, marked it, and scored going out. Same with the other side. So two inches, two inches. The, the fold is a little tricky, but... This is the easiest part. Um, and then to make it a tricorn, you have to glue it together. This really threw me when I first started looking at it, going, how in the world did they get this together? So this is going to take the longest part of the card. Get that down in the tip. Come on. I just opened a new bottle. There, I, I can feel it. <laughs> okay I've got to watch where I'm at here I don't want to go outside my lines I, want to make sure, I don't want it to squish out what I'm doing okay set this aside now I know this like I said I looked at these cards online and I'm going what in the world am I seeing and just fold it together. I've got to hold it for a little bit to make sure that it sticks. I love this craft glue. Fun Stampers Journey Spellbinders is going to start carrying a new glue called Barely Art Glue. It uh, comes with a really fine point, something like this. This is actually Karen Berniston's glue, and it works really good. I need to play with some of her stuff. I've got a couple of her dies. So I get that well in there. Open it up. Fold everything back again. And ta-da! There's your card. Now I have to admit, the hard part was getting my layers for here. This was horrible. I basically just figured this is two inches, so I cut just here under two inches. And formed all my layers so you can see it it fits it'll fit there just have to play with this so I cut if this is two inches this is roughly what did I think it was it was one and three one and seven eighths kinda and then I just laid it on here and marked it to cut so now I used um, print paper that has a definite direction so when you do the other side you got to remember to flip it so that they match so I will adhere these are you having a good day today I have been uh, been doing a lot of prayer praying today things are bothering me 
but God is in control. I have to keep telling myself that. Okay, so I got to stand up to see where I'm at. So, anyway, I think right about there. Now, this paper that I am using is from a paper pack of long ago called uh, Playful Prints. Since what I am using from that stamp set has balloons, I thought balloons is cool. They got little hearts, so that's cool because Valentine's Day. So I thought that would work. So, um, yeah. So I'll get this one on. I have been working on my card kits for class. I'm making 10 kits. I have seven spoke for already. So I will have extras. So there's that. And then I have to tell you that trying to do balloons in this piece was virtually impossible for me. I could not get my brain wrapped around it. <laughs> it's like because... The paper, I, I, I was just having an issue. It was comical. And the more I tried, the more flustered I got. And I said, you know, this is not a good day for me to try to figure that out. So I took another piece of paper. and put, Now this square here, that's two inches. Remember, you came down two inches. So I cut this an inch and seven eighths and then cut my layer inside layer. So this is a little tricky, I'm trying to get it on here. It will help hold your card together. There we go. So that makes it fit better. And then I did these pieces, and this one's going to go here. And I think this one was to go here. Get my fingers working here. There we go. So they're going to go there. This is just so cool. I will have measurements and information on my website tomorrow. As soon as I get done here, I will be saving this video to my website or to my computer. Can you see what I'm doing? And then uploading it to YouTube after I take pictures. So I want that one there. See, this isn't so hard getting them on, it's just getting them cut to fit. <laughs> I have a few uh, pieces of scrap because I, yesterday, I don't know what it was yesterday. I just was having trouble getting my mind wrapped around a whole lot of anything. Just one of those days. I worked Monday. Oh, I had so much to do Monday at work. I worked four hours. Got invited to lunch by my good friend Linda. So went to lunch, went home, and slept for three hours. I'm going, what in the world was wrong with me? There we go. And then, okay, so here's my, my little bunny. Isn't that cute? And I put Journey Glaze on the balloons, colored it with my uh, color burst pencils, and then I... There's the die for the balloons. Somebody loves you. I did a little bit of sponging of Turbo Teal ink around there and added my string. So I haven't really worked on this part yet. I just knew that the, he's got to fit on that side. And I have to pop him because he would get lost in that uh, print. So I will pop him. We'll just put a... I'm not sure if I'm in the video or not here sometimes. <laughs> okay. Put this here and then this. Okay, I'm using a, um, a roll of tape. I have, I bought some way back when, but now scrapbook.com has some really cool tape. I haven't gotten into this one yet. This is a one inch wide roll. About $13 for all of that. You know, you can cut these to fit. So 
I, I frequently change the sizes of what I'm doing. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with my my um, string there yet. He's really don't know. I might uh, glue it down in spots, make it curl. I'll do that when I'm done, uh, ready to take photos. I think I'm going to put that a little angle. So I might just come down here, add a dot of glue, do a little curly cue, maybe like that. That would be cool. And then this. So I, th I um, and I'll have to finish out the other card too. <laughs> It'll probably be something different, uh, not necessarily a Valentine card. But then who knows? As many kids as we've got, grandkids. Okay, helps to just flatten that down. I'm going to put it right there. So there, there is the card. Stands up. Isn't that cute? So again, I will have the measurements and the score lines and stuff, pictures, the whole works on uh, my website tomorrow. You can have a look at it. Hi, Christine. How are you today? So that, so like I said, the card was easy relatively. It was cutting the layers. And you just have to play with it. This is my second card. If you want to see the first one I made, I did it uh, posted here January 1st. And it's already in the mail. It went out. <laughs> it went out a couple of days after that uh, for a swap I was in. I'm in. So that's it. So I'll flip the phone back over. So anyway, I hope you give it a try. It's so easy. When I was looking at them on Pinterest, I'm going, oh man, that looks kind of hard. But you know, if you start playing with it, most of us are experienced enough anymore that we can figure it out. And I'm not really good at watching videos myself, but I will. <laughs> I have watched a lot. But this one, once I started folding it, it was like a... <gasps> Ta-da! I know how they did it! And I didn't have to watch the video. <laughs> but I have friends here that do need to watch the video. So anyway, thank you for coming by, Christine. Have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll all see what happens next week. Have a great day. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.